How's it going, guys? Um, well, I was looking to uh, do a little uh, pack opening. I got a really good deal on some tins uh, from 2021, uh, 2020 Series 1 um, and some fat packs and Walgreens hangers from 2021 Series 1 uh, that I wanted to open, you know, for my YouTube channel, open it up for, you know, the, the few people that do watch my videos. Um, but I've been having some problems with USPS as of late, um, not just delivering the boxes into the parcel locker next to the mailbox. Um, and I work, you know, I, I'm, I work at a bank, so I work the same hours that the post office is open. Uh, so it's really challenging and difficult to get up there. And then when you can get up there, you end up waiting an hour to an hour and a half for them to find the packages. I don't understand, you know, what's going on, but hopefully within the next couple days, I get my hands on those boxes so I can open them up um, for my YouTube channel. But uh, with that said, just kind of as a placeholder so I can actually post something, uh, you know, I've been trying to do weekly uploads, but I haven't been able to uh, stay consistent with that because I haven't been able to get my hands on my boxes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a little mail opening just kind of see what I've been buying on eBay. Um, I know for sure I have one very, very special uh, item in this uh, little set of packages right here. Um, it's in that big one to the right there. I'm not going to open it just because, uh, not open it first, just because I feel like that's a that's a great one to end on. Um, but let's see what we got here first. Okay, um, so I ordered quite a bit of... Uh, Walker Bueller stuff. Um, got a nice little uh, silver pack rookie card here. I think he's, you know, the next big deal. Dude can flat out pitch. He's got wipeout stuff, you know, been consistent. Doesn't really have a track record for injuries besides blisters on his fingers. You know, World Series champ 2021. Can't go wrong with it. Um, but yeah, I like these silver pack. Uh, wave cards. I got this for real cheap just because the centering isn't uh, the best on it, but it's still a very, very sick, sweet looking card. Let's go ahead and get into another package here. Hopefully we can get this open. Uh, <laughs> all right, and do it off camera. Don't want my, uh, I don't want to dox myself. Here, we'll, we'll wait to open that one later. I need to get a pair of scissors. <laughs> Here we go. Package number two, Gavin Lux, uh, the man insert from 2020 Tops Finest. Uh, I'm trying to complete the full set of the man cards. I honestly think uh, it's one of the coolest designs uh, I've seen in a long while. Just the different colors and, you know, homage. I think it was, was it, was it 99? I, I think 1999 they had... Uh, the man inserts like this. Uh, so I just thought it was pretty cool. They're bringing it back. Can't go wrong with Gavin Lux. I think he's going to be a good player. Just wish he would uh, have focused last year and actually showed up to camp on time and all that good stuff. He probably would have played a little more, but uh, that's what this year's for. He's still young, so he's got some time. Oh my. Not sure what this package is. Uh, off to an interesting start seeing some uh, basketball cards <laughs> in here with it uh let's just get to you know what, what i actually wanted and not uh <laughs> some uh cheap junk wax basketball cards so uh i went ahead and picked up a couple of these uh first bowmans of novel noel v Marte. pardon me um i'm pretty high on this kid he's very young i think he's 18 years old at this point absolute freaking stud um for those of you who do know, my dad is a photographer for minor league baseball, so he's seen a lot of guys, and you know, the last time he spoke of a guy that he had seen on the backfields that highly was actually Mike Trout. Um, kid has a great this kid has a great swing, uh, knows what he wants to be and knows what he wants to do in life. And uh, you know, I, I think he's gonna be a perennial all-star. Uh, by the time he makes it to the to the big leagues, pending you know any error uh, injuries, obviously uh, that injury bug can get anybody, no matter who you are, how good you are. Um, so yeah, pretty high on Noel V. Uh, just I think the kid's an absolute stud. Let's go ahead and get into this package here. Oh man, sometimes with these packages on uh, 
eBay, they, they pretty much make it impossible for you to get your cards out, but that is okay. We'll get it open here. Hopefully I can just slide it out from this side. Let's see here. Okay, another Walker Bueller rookie card. This is a Topps Chrome Refractor from 2018. Um, just a very, very cool looking card overall. I like Topps Chrome Refractors. I think they add a lot of color splashes and all sorts of cool stuff to the card. And you know, it's a more obsolete item. It's not just a base card. You know, that, that's kind of what I'm looking to do this year is you know mainly get either numbered or refractors or rainbow foils that kind of thing of rookies just because of how how many cards they're actually producing this year um but the good thing on your side when it comes to uh, the base cards is the fact that not a lot of them come with great centering so if you can get your hands on some of those base cards with good centering i think the pop report for psa 10s for a lot of the 2021 series one cards it's going to be pretty low just because of how bad, you know, the centering is on them. Okay, I uh, got that one package open finally. Uh, this one I just kind of hold close to home. I uh, had to get a Felix Hernandez rookie card. You know, I, I wish he uh, pitched for a different organization for all those years, but he was dominant for the good part of a decade, and I think that, you know, is a strong case on getting him into the Hall of Fame. Uh, has the has a lot of strikeouts. The win loss isn't quite there, but WHIP and ERA. You, you know the dude. The dude was a bona fide ace for years in Seattle. Um, so I had to get this. Uh, you know I, I watched this kid pitch at 16, 17 years old, um, just being around my dad and that kind of thing. And uh, it, it's been one heck of a career. I really wish he didn't have uh, the injury bug. You know he's still only. I'm pretty sure in his. Uh, Early 30s, if I'm if I'm correct, um, made his major league debut at 18 years old, which is just absolutely ridiculous. The velocity on that fastball isn't there anymore, but that you know that happens when you pitch 200 innings a year for a good part of 10 years. All right, so this is the big one. Um, this is uh, something very very special for me, especially um, if you can't tell, I am a huge Tim Anderson fan. Love the way he plays the game. He's not the biggest guy, you know, but just just love the, the swagger and, and that kind of thing. He makes baseball fun. So uh, when I had uh, the opportunity to get my hands on this, um, I had to get it. Looks like they gave me some extras too. But, uh, no, I, I absolutely had to have my hands on this item. So he sent me a base card with it. But uh, here it is. It is my first one of one super fractor. I'd been looking on eBay for a long time. Everybody had been beating me, sniping me to the bidding, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but uh, I was able to get my hands on a Bowman Chrome 2020 Tim Anderson super fractor. Trying to complete the rainbow. I have the blue, uh, the indigo. Been trying to get my hands on the gold, orange, and uh, red out of five. I have the refractor out of 499. Um, so if any of you guys know anybody that have the red of five and the orange of 25, please drop it in the comments. I'd love to complete this rainbow. I just absolutely love the way super fractors look. This is my very first one. I was lucky enough to, uh, pull a Nico Horner, one of one out of a tops archives box last year. I went ahead and sold that on eBay. Uh, I like Nico. I just don't see him being a perennial all-star or anything like that. Um, and plus archives, it's not really considered a true one of one, even though it is, uh, but man, I, I am blown away with how these cards look in person. I've always seen them online, but, uh, the reflection in the swirls and, and all that fun stuff, it, it, it's a pretty awesome sight to behold. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, just wanted to show you guys a little something, uh, cause I haven't exactly been able to do the content that I've wanted to do, but, uh, at least a diff dis different, you know, video, decent mail day. I got a one of one. Not often uh, can you get to do that and say that in a video. Uh, you know, a couple uh, Walker Bueller rookie cards. Uh, Noel V. Marte, Bowman first. It's a green camo variant. I think that's awesome. The man insert for Gavin Lux and uh, Felix Hernandez rookie card. Um, but uh, anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, those of you who do actually check my videos out, 
hopefully, 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 like I said, I'll have those uh, other boxes uh, from USPS so I can rip some packs for you guys on here and hopefully pull something pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, anyways, guys, uh, be looking out for that video here in the next couple of days. Uh, hopefully it's sooner than later. Again, thank you guys for watching and uh, hope you guys enjoy uh, this mail day and seeing this super awesome uh, super fractor. Thank you.